Hi friends, uh, I am Anand Ved, your tech guide at TechStore and uh, in this video I am going to be showing you how to basically uh, rip apart and disassemble the base of the latest ASUS VivoBook X512. Now this might be a Core i3 or a Core i5 or a Core i7 variant or it might be any color, there are four color variants available for this model which you will see in one of our reviews which is coming up shortly. The procedure for upgrading remains the same, basically removing the uh, base remains the same. So, if your laptop uh, looks something like this, it might be any color, it might be a silver or a grey or a peacock blue, the procedure will remain the same and uh, if the base is something which looks like this, the keyboard touch panel area is something like this and if it is, says it is a ASUS X512, then you can apply this particular procedure. So, let's do it. let's start things up first thing first we need to flip the laptop and you will see all these screws over here which you need to remove start from the hinges screw the center screw is a little longer keep it separately the screws over here are different now take a prior like this and start protruding very gently be a lot of crackling sound. Just remove it. It will hold on to this particular thing a little bit because of its curvature here. Just very gently remove it and uh, you can see the ASUS X512 in front of you. So, now you should know that by default the RAM is soldered onto this motherboard 4 GB and there is one RAM DIMM slot which is uh, available. So, you need to put a DDR4 RAM with 266 MHz frequency. This is the M.2 SSD slot. So, if you want to just replace, uh, if your X512 does not have a SSD, then you need to have uh, the screwdriver here. You just need to remove one screw. You can purchase a M.2 SSD NVMe or a 2280 normal SSD and uh, just insert it like this. This variant that we are uh, doing is basically a 250 GB SSD variant. So, you will not see a hard drive over here. So, for people who want to connect the hard drive, uh, there is a connector that is available in the box using which you can put another hard drive over here. So, there will be a separate hard disk kit that will come along uh, in the box, something like this, which will have a connector using which you can put your hard drive. Just open this. This is the hard disk holder and uh, this is your connector as well as this part here you can put it in the base if you want to. So right now I'll just show you how exactly you put in the hard drive. Basically you can take a 2.5 SATA hard drive. This is what uh, you need to take in order to extend the storage and just insert the hard drive like this in the connector. You have to just put it in the holes like this. And this is the way it is. So just over here and just take the connector which is given along with it and just insert it like this and you have to place it like this here and uh, this is the hard disk connector over here and just close it just need to see to it that it fitted the hard disk correctly right so you have fitted a hard drive over here now coming to the ram you can take a ddr4 uh, 2400 megahertz or 2666 megahertz 2400 megahertz for core i3 and core i5 and for core i7 we suggest a 2666 megahertz ddr4 low voltage memory just take the RAM here like this and uh, insert it. You should know that the X52 has one 4GB RAM that is soldered onto the laptop itself. So, you cannot upgrade beyond this. The maximum upgrade capacity of this laptop is another 16GB. So, that is 4GB plus 16GB. A total of 20GB can be upgraded on this particular laptop. Now, coming to the area where the SSD is, if your laptop does not come with a default SSD, there will be a screw that will be holding on and it will look like this basically. Just take a M.2 SSD, NVMe or a normal 2280 SSD. We can take a Samsung or a Corsair or a SanDisk and just insert it like this and put the screw back. This is the Wi-Fi chip. Uh, you can just take one screw over here, just open it and uh, Wi-Fi chip can be removed. The battery is over here. So there are speaker wires over here. If you want to remove it, you just need to remove these speaker wires and then you need to remove this one notch here. This Wi-Fi antenna wire is also on the battery here. Just remove it and uh, you can replace the battery. So let's reassemble it back. All right, so just press it like this. Slowly, just...
put the small screws first all right so we are good to go over here so in this video basically we have shown you how to remove the base and upgrade the asus x512 you should watch this video before you are buying the laptop uh, you can put a m.2 ssd nvme uh, you can uh, have ram availability up to 20 gb in total 4 gb is soldered onto the motherboard so another 16 gb you can add ddr4 memory and you can put an additional hard drive there is a hard drive kit that is given along with it and uh, basically it's very seamless the design is uh, very nice and it's a very good laptop that uh, asus has launched so this my friends was a review a video showing you everything thank you so much for watching and do let us know suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us all the parts and components are available on our website www.techstore.co.in